What time is it? It's power yoga time. We are going to turn up the heat in this class. We are going to move through some standing balances, the option for arm balances and inversions. So I would say this is a more intermediate level class, but of course, everyone is welcome to join because it's gonna be a fun one. And I'm Kate. If you have never practiced with me before, then welcome. I teach a lot of fun yoga, a lot of power yoga, but also more gentle style yoga like slow flows, femininity classes, and yin yoga. So welcome. Now, you won't need any props for this class, but if you normally practice with a block or a bolster, then have that nearby so that you can feel comfortable in your practice today. It is your practice after all. Now, let's take a big breath in, side out the mouth, relax the body, and let's get started. We are going to start class at the back of our mat in child's pose. So take your knees wide, your big toes come to kiss. Inhale to a really long spine and then leading with your heart, fold forward. And if you need a block or a bolster under your body to make this more accessible, then go for it. It's your practice today. So maybe you shut down the eyes and you just land in your body, perhaps for the first time today. Before we find movement, we are going to start from a place of stillness. So relax your hips back down onto your heels. Find a long spine through each vertebrae and palm your hands forward. Tapping into the sensations of the physical body. Relaxing in. And then turning our attention one click deeper to our breath. Notice how even in this folded, constricted posture, we can still inhale and exhale very expansively. So take the next inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Fill up your entire abdomen and your lower back with this next inhale. Out through the mouth. Now in through the nose. This one's different. Seal the lips. And out through the nose. See how that elongates your exhales. Now these are two tools for you to have in your practice, your yoga toolkit, if you will. A sigh out of the mouth releases heat from the body when things get maybe a little intense on the mat and they also allow the body to really relax. Whereas when we're going through our vinyasa part of class, you might want to steal the lips and exhale through the nose for an ujjayi breath, that big ocean breath that allows you to regulate your inhales and exhales more. So you always have the option of either. As we take our last few breaths here, let's bring an intention into today's class, knowing that we will be challenged, that it will get hot. Pick an intention that sticks out to you. The first one that comes to mind is usually the most intuitive. That's just usually the best one for you. So maybe you need strength. Maybe you need 
to allow yourself to come into child's pose when things get a little intense. Or like me, maybe you just need to bring in some fun. I can get pretty serious with these type of practices. So bringing in fun and a sense of play always balances these type of classes out for me. Two more big belly breaths. And crawl your hands slowly back. Take a seat on your bum right in the middle of your mat. And we'll open through the side body. So both sit bones firmly on the floor. Inhale your left arm up and over to the right side of the room. Spiral your chest open so you look underneath your arm. Now imagine there are gills on the left rib cage so you're breathing into this space. On your exhale, swim it forward. Keep your hands really close to the mat and hover your round forward. Then come to the other side. Your right hand reaches to the left side of the room. Spiral your chest open. Look up under your right arm. Breathe. Opening through the side body. Glue that right hip to the floor. And we'll take a few rounds here. So you exhale through the center. <sighs> Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale through center. <sighs> Inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. Inhale. Last time. Exhale, and inhale, then press yourself up to center. We'll take some gentle neck rolls. I'm not gonna cue you too much on these ones because you know what your neck needs. Feel into it, where are you stiff? These don't even need to be rolls. You can just hold one position where you need a little extra love. Trust yourself, listen to your body. No forcing, no crunching, just gentle neck opening. Wherever you're at, bring your chin to your chest. Maybe your hands help your head come all the way up to center and we'll roll into our tabletop position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Spread your fingertips wide and grip into the mat with your fingertips. So we're taking the weight off of our wrists and watch how gripping into the mat employs the forearms as well, which strengthens. It helps support the wrist. So inhale, look up, tummy drop, tailbone rises, hips open wide and out. Exhale, chin to chest, round through each vertebrae. Press the mat away with your hands. Top of the spine comes towards the front of the room. Inhale, look up. Hip bones open. Exhale, chin to chest. <sighs> Inhale, look up. Exhale, round with your breath now. Take whatever moments, movements you need. and come to a neutral spine. Walk your hands forward, just a click. Tuck the toes, press into the hands a lot and send the hips back, 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 just so your knees are hovering off the floor. Then send them back a little more. 
so your arms are straight. Lots of bend in your knees, and then slowly straighten your legs. Downward dog. And pedal out your downward dog. Bending into either leg. Getting into the hips. Still gripping into the mat with your fingertips and cupping the mat with your palm. Inhale to tiptoes. And exhale, set your heels down as best you can. Take a moment of stillness. On your exhale, step your right foot up, then your left foot up. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up. Arms reach. Exhale, palms come down to heart center. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step both feet back. Maybe your knees are on the mat for this first one. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. On your next exhale, step up to the top of the mat. Inhale to a long spine. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing. Arms come overhead, reach. Exhale, palms to heart center. One breath in. One breath out. Inhale, reach, squeeze the hips. Maybe turn into a little back bend. Exhale, forward fold, pull it in. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back. Knees on or off the mat. Move through your chaturanga. Nice and strong. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Two more, just like that. Step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, rise. Exhale to heart center. One full round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms rise, turn into a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or hop back through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Exhale, step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, a long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale to heart center. One breath in. One breath out. Inhale, both arms rise. And exhale, sweep the ground. Turn into a chair pose. Weight in your heels, sink deep into your chair pose. Rotate the biceps out so your pinkies are pointed towards each other, thumbs out. Navel in toward the spine. Nice, easy face here. Come to the tiptoe of your right toe so you're light on your right. Then you're going to tap off the mat for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back, squeeze the knees together, lift the right foot into the air so your knees are together, right foot up. Send it back with control into crescent pose. Find your strong crescent, back knee lifting, back heel lifted. Touch the mat with your back knee, down, 
and up. Down for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, your right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Stay here or bring prayer palms right at your heart center and hook your right elbow outside of your left knee for a twist. If you're twisted, try to get your palms right to the center of your heart. And inhale brings you out, right arm forward, left arm back. Breathe it back to crescent. On your exhale, come into lightning crescent. Light on the back toe. And then float into your warrior three or airplane pose with arms behind you. You can start with a bent left leg, then straighten. Breathe, navel in. Slowly bend your left leg, touch back down with your right leg, crescent. Turn this into a back bend a little bit. Maybe you look up towards the sky. And exhale, both hands meet mat. Kick it up into a three-legged dog. Left leg rises. Exhale through your chaturanga with one leg. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot up to the top of the mat. Left foot up. Inhale to a long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up. And exhale, prayer hands right to your heart. One breath in. One breath out. Inhale, both arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair pose. Weight in your heels, sink deep. Easy face. Come to the tiptoes of your left foot. So you're light on your left. Then 10 taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Squeeze the knees together. Sink a little deeper. Lift the left foot up towards the glutes. And then with control, send it to the back of the mat. Crescent pose. Find your depth here. Then we'll tap the mat with our back knee. Then up for five, four, three, two, one, beautiful, twist so your left arm goes forward, right hand goes back, stay here, or bring your hands to prayer pose right at your heart, and hook that outside of your right knee. Twist, open. Inhale, reverse out of that. Come back into your crescent pose, and on your exhale, come to lightning crescent. Light on the back foot, weight in your right foot, and float into your warrior three or airplane. Find your dristi, that focus point with your eyes, this unmoving point. Soft focus, navel in. And exhale, lower slowly. Inhale to crescent, and find this back bend in crescent, almost like you're holding a big beach ball. Exhale, both hands meet the mat. Step it back into a three-legged dog. Right foot rises. And exhale through your chaturanga. One foot. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, your left leg rises. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat. Follow it by your right foot. Open into chair pose. Taps with the right foot off the mat for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Glue the knees together. 
the right foot comes up towards the glute and step it back to the back of the mat. Crescent pose. Tap the back knee to the mat very gently for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, reach the right hand forward, left hand back. Maybe stay here or prayer palms right at your heart and turn it into a prayer twist. Where'd the breath go? Breathe. Inhale out of that. Stay for the exhale and inhale into your crescent pose. Exhale, lightning crescent, light on the back foot. We're adding on here. Float into your warrior three. Two full breaths here. Keep it strong. Then inhale, stand all the way up, knee into your chest. Take peace fingers to your big toe and stay here or extend your right leg. Your right arm comes behind you. Option to slowly shift your gaze towards the back of the room. Move slow like honey. Navel's in, core's on. Release out of that. Come back into your warrior three. Gently touch down your back foot. Inhale to your crescent. Exhale, open up cactus. Your arms take the back bend. Exhale, plant the hands. Step the foot back into a three-legged dog. Left leg rises. And move through your chaturanga. Inhale to your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Step your left leg forward. Inhale to chair pose. 10 taps with your left foot off the mat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, sink a little bit deeper in your chair pose, glue the knees together. Lift the left foot up towards your glutes. Slowly with control, step it back. Crescent. Find your depth. We'll touch the back knee down for five, four, three, two, one. Right hand goes back, left hand goes forward. Stay here or add on the twist, prayer pose right at your heart. The back knee rising. Inhale, come out of it. Stay for the exhale. Inhale to crescent pose. Exhale, lightning crescent, light on the back foot and float into your warrior three. Inhale, stand all the way up. Your right peace fingers grab your left big toe. Stay here or extend the left leg and the left arm reaches back behind you. Dancing Shiva, option to slowly switch your gaze towards the back of the room. Slowly come out of this the way you came in, back into airplane pose. Step your back foot down, inhale into crescent. Exhale through cactus arms, open through the back. Scoop the heart skyward. And exhale, both hands meet in the mat. Three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale through a chaturanga, nice and strong. Inhale to an up dog. Exhale, downward dog, beautiful. One more time, each side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it up. Right leg matches. Inhale into chair pose. Taps with the right foot for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sink lower. Glue the knees together. Lift the right foot up by your glutes. Send it back into your crescent. 
Taps with the back knee onto the mat for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, reach the right arm forward, left hand back. Option to stay here or come into your twist. Your inhale reverses you out of it. Stay for the exhale. On the inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, lightning crescent light on the back foot and float into your warrior three or airplane pose. On your inhale, come all the way up to standing. Bring your right knee into your chest. Grab the right big toe with your left hand. Dancing Shiva. Option to keep the leg bent or extend. Come out of this the way we came in, nice and slowly. Through your warrior three. Into your crescent. And exhale your cactus arms. Scoop the heart skyward. <sighs> exhale. Both hands meet the mat. Into your three-legged dog. <sighs> and chaturanga. <sighs> Inhale. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale. Step your right leg up. Left leg up, chair pose, last side. Taps with the left foot for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees glued together, sink lower. Lift the left foot up towards your glute and step it back. Crescent pose. Taps with the back knee onto the mat for five, four, three, two, one. Reach the left arm forward, right arm back for a twist. Stay here or add on with your prayer. Hands right at your heart. And inhale brings you out. Stay for the exhale. Your inhale brings you to crescent. Your exhale brings you to lightning crescent light on the back foot. Float into your warrior three. Inhale, stand all the way up, knee into your chest. Grab the left big toe. Dancing Shiva, any variation. Exhale, release the way you came in through your warrior three. Back down into your crescent pose, arms rise. And exhale, peel your chest open. This one's different, inhale to your crescent. And exhale, turn towards the long side of the mat. Heels in, toes out, goddess pose. Sink in. Take many pulses here at the bottom, mini pulses here at the bottom. So you're gonna contract your pelvic floor. Your navel is in towards your spine. Your glutes are on, your thighs are on. Everything is working. Then pop your right heel. Feel that engagement even in your oblique. Set it down, pop the left heel. Set it down, right heel. Set it down, left heel. Set it down, both heels rise. Squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes, sink a little bit deeper, perhaps even just a centimeter. For five, four, three, full leg shaking, two, one. Release the heels, straighten both legs. Toes go forward and fold into your proserito, wide-legged forward fold. We're gonna release some heat here, so big inhale. Out through the mouth, tongue out, side out. It's called lion's breath. It is supposed to be audible. It is supposed to be animalistic. Two more times, inhale. Really stick your tongue out. 
one more time. It feels great. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Option to stay here and find room in your forward fold. Or if you'd like to take a headstand variation, <laughs> then you have the time. Move nice and slowly in your headstand if you're inverted. And slowly, slowly come out. Take a few breaths. Slowly click your heels in, toes out. Send your hips a little over to the right, a little over to the left, keeping your heels on the ground the whole time. And then send them on over to the right for a nice skindasana side lunge. So your toes and your knees of your straight leg are pointing up and your heel as best you can is on the ground of your bent leg. Roll it on over to the other side. Take a few breaths here, find some depth. Send it on over to the back. And if you haven't twisted open in your side lunge yet, go ahead and find a twist open, reaching your one arm towards the side. And shift it on over to the other side, finding your twist. And whatever side you're on, let's come into a yogi squat at the top of our mat. So heels in, toes out, yogi squat. Find a really long spine, a soft face. Relax your hips so no clenching. Stay here and breathe it out. Or for those who want to take an arm balance, let's move into crow pose. If you come to crow, see if you can hold for five full breaths. Then release into Malasana, your yogi squat. Find stillness, regulate. Release your yogi squat, come down onto your knees. We'll find a little bit of heart openers with camel pose. So keep your hips over your knees. Press into the mat with the tops of your feet. We're actually going to tuck our toes for this first one. But press into the mat. Before we move anywhere, find and create length between your hip bones and your rib cage. So already you're lifting away from your hips. Notice how that lengthens through the spine. Then with your hands on your hips towards the back, or perhaps you find your heels, come gently into your camel. And slowly come out. Set your booty back down onto your heels or onto the mat. Don't worry, you'll have another 
round of that. Take a moment. And then inhale, come back up onto your knees. Maybe this time you leave your toes untucked. Squeeze your glutes to get your hips over your knees and always keep them there. Try to keep them forward. Lengthen your ribs away from your hip bones so already you're lengthened. And then find your camel pose. If you want to see if you can move your head back down towards the mat, feel free to practice that. Just leave a little juice to come all the way up. And set your heels or your hips back down onto your heels. Take a moment. This one's a little bit different. You can take traditional camel pose like we just did again, or you can inhale, your right hand comes to the mat, and your hips come up. Your left hand reaches back. Just a little different variation. Exhale, set the hips down. Inhale, switch it out. Left hand meets the mat. Right hand comes back. Exhale, sit it down. Take a moment. Then let's spring both feet out in front of us. Your left leg strong and straight in front of you. Your right foot towards your inner thigh. Janushirsasana. Single leg forward fold. Both hip, plant, hip bones planted into the ground. Inhale to a really long spine. And then leading with the, the heart as if it's being pulled by a string and hinging at the hips, lean forward. So try to keep a really long spine. Then when you're at a depth that feels like a stretch to you, then you can surrender and start to round. We're releasing any controlled breathing now. We're regulating our heartbeat, our blood pressure, we're slowing it down. So release any clenching in your hips, in your shoulders. Release the space between the eyebrows, the cheeks, the jaw. Soften the space between either eyelid. And slowly walk your hands back towards your body. Switch out your legs, right leg long and strong, left foot towards your inner thigh, both sit bones grounded. Inhale to that long spine, then shine your chest forward and start your bend, hinging at the hips with your heart moving forward. Shine it towards the front of the room. When you're at your depth, Feel free to surrender into this pose, round your back. Start to walk your hands back to your body. Bring both feet on the mat in front of you. Come to the center of your mat with your booty, and then we'll lower with control for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Bring your 
Right foot into your right hand, left foot into your left hand, happy baby. Try to pull your knees towards the ground, opening through the groin. Feel the full imprint of the spine on your mat. Maybe you rock side to side. Maybe pull one foot in or stretch one leg straight. Maybe you open both legs. And wherever you are, relax one leg onto the mat, the other leg onto the mat. Let your ankles fall open. Let your arms be out by your side, wherever feels comfortable to you. Close your eyes if they're not already. And take your Shavasana. You can fully relax here. I will bring you out sweetly. Start to tap fingertips to fingertips. Wiggle your toes. Roll out your wrists and your feet coming back into your body.
On your next inhale, stretch long like a cat. Or maybe open and close your jaw. And come into fetal position on your favorite side. Stay here for a few breaths just to calibrate and give yourself the time. And then keeping the eyes closed down, come into an easy seat. You don't have to fiddle with anything, just be where you are. Take your hands to your knees, palms facing skyward, an act of receiving of openness, of softness. Place your attention on your breath. Notice where in your body you feel the expansion. Feeling your prana, your life force, your vitality pulsing through your body, the air nourishing you. You don't even need to try. May we take the perseverance, the grace, the ease that we moved with on the mat today, off the mat and into our rest of our day. The wonderful thing about this type of practice is that it strengthens your entire being, your body, your mind, your spirit. I hope you have reverence and gratitude for what you gifted yourself today on the mat, how you showed up for your practice. However it was, it was exactly what you needed. Prayer hands right at my third eye. May we honor our thoughts. Prayer hands at the lips. May we honor our words. And prayer hands right at the heart center. May we honor ourselves. Namaste. Sweet friends. I hope that you feel strong and relaxed and amazing. I love challenging classes like these, but make sure that you drink a lot of water today. Just go chug a glass of water after this. And a great class to follow this one up with, if you feel like you need a little more, you go get her, would be a yin yoga class. So I'll link those in the descriptions, a nice little cool down class if you want a little bit more. And I have tons more power yoga classes on my channel. So I hope to see you on the mat soon. And more importantly than that, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day with tons of beautiful moments that you can recognize and have gratitude for right then. Bye, friends.